Okay. Um, it's day 23 of Vlogist. I'm still on track. I can't even believe it. Um, I'm getting ready to leave tomorrow morning, the crack of dawn, for another trip to Austin and to visit my sister-in-law and my brother and my best friend. And so I thought I'd get on really quick this afternoon. I'm about to go pack and um, I thought of some kind of interesting ways to pack because I don't want to pack a bag, um, check a bag. And I have no one else to divide my um, liquids with. So I'm on my own with a carry-on and my big giant purse. So I had to really get creative because I'm going to be gone uh, almost eight days. I don't know why I made the trip that long. Well, I do because the airline flights, the prices went way up if I went an extra last day or two. The prices just went way up. I don't even know. Okay. First thing is something I found at Walmart two days ago when I was getting my daughter's school supplies is this cute little thing. This is a pencil box that, you know, they always sell at the first of the year. It's, well, I guess year round, but this is back to school. It was $2.97. Now it's hard, but it's squishy. Okay. So it will go down pretty nicely, I think, in my big purse. Now, am I going to use this for pencils? No. Makeup brushes? No. I'm going to put all of my chargers in here. You can't really see, but ah, I've got my phone thingy that connects to the computer to charge it. I've got my cell phone charger, and I'm going to have my um, iPad charger is going to fit in here, and I've got my extra um, uh, phone back camera battery and so once I get everything in there I've already tested it will close because like I said it's kind of squishy so it can go like this a little bit and have a little bit more room but I think this is going to work well I usually use Ziploc bags but I don't know I thought that was kind of cute so I'm going to try it I'll let you know something else I bought for this trip well no for the California trip I was thinking about buying um somewhere Someone was using little Ziploc bags for some, I think it was, I don't even know. They were putting their jewelry or something in little Ziploc bags. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, little tiny Ziploc bags. I've got to have some. Well, I went online and you have to order like a million of them. And they only come, I, ha I need to find a variety pack where you have all different sizes. So I didn't find that. But I found these at Walgreens for like $3. Now they're quite tiny and you can label them. But I don't, I, I, there's a bunch, there's many in this package, maybe 100, maybe 50, I don't remember. But I'm using them for all different kinds of things. And here's my genius thing. Okay, two products that I really like that I want to take on my trip but have extremely large packaging is my Cody Airspun Powder, which I do like. And I just had to cut all my nails off because they were destroyed during the trip. So I want to take this, but are you kidding me? With my so limited room, I'm not taking that. Then my other thing I told y'all that I would tell you about later, and this is later, okay, is my Laura Mercier, I splurged a few months ago, it's um, candlelight, it's a highlighter. I've tried many, many highlighters, none of them are as pretty as this, and I saw Kathy Lee again. Uh, this was one of her favorite things, and she said her daughter wears it all the time. And her daughter, I mean, hello, she's 18, but she just has a glow, okay? And she told her mother this was it. So I bought it. I'm very pleased with it. It will last forever. So that's what I always do when something's a little more expensive. I think about cost per wear, and it's going to be very inexpensive. This will probably last me, I mean, seriously, two years, three years, I don't know. Because I used just the tiniest bit. Now, I didn't even use it today, but... This is great stuff. It was about $33, but if you use it two years, okay, I'm good. So I'm not going to take this either. Number one, if I spill this, it's like liquid gold. I'm going to be furious. So here's what I came up with and something that I have been doing. I would like to kind of have an all over glow, but this would be too much. This is for all intents and purposes invisible. So sometimes I put a tiny bit of this in the lid and a tiny sprinkle of this and I swirl them together and use it together. Okay? So I took 
one of my mini, now it's going to look kind of messy, but I took one of my mini Ziploc bags and put the powder, can you see it in the bottom? I put the powder in there, a little bit of each. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to open it. I don't have my big brush, but I have a big fluffy, not too big, medium-sized fluffy brush that I will barely dip in there, bang it upside down so the product goes down into the brush, blow on it a little bit, and then use it. So let's see if this little flat thing is going to work on my trip. I'll let you know. Then I got crazy about it. I have the new um, stuff I got in my birch box, which I'm telling you right now, I am in love with the Pixie um, Fine Relax Serum for fine lines. I don't know if it says Fine Relax. Line Relax. It says something else I'm not putting on my glasses. Okay, anyway, this stuff. Glass bottle, heavy, large. Not going to do it. So what did I do? I opened this pouch. See? It's, it's in there. You can't really see it because of the label. See it in there? That white stuff? I, um put about five or six pumps in here and I'm just gonna put my finger in and use it because you use such a tiny bit. Now the reason I wanted this with me is because I do feel like it's making a difference. I think it really does relax my face a little bit, especially here and here. That's where I have my worst lines. But I'm going to my, it's, it's, it's a high school reunion but it's not official so it's like 32 years. Isn't that a nightmare? No, I've been married 30. No, I've been married 31 years. Whatever, it's many years. Wait, 78, 88, 98, 2008, 34 years since I've seen these people. Actually, it's 24 years because I did go to my 10-year reunion. Long story to tell you that I want to be de-wrinkled. So that's why I decided to take that because I just don't want people going <gasps> when they see me, you know, because I look so whatever. Now, this Ziploc bag came with some electronic thing. So what I put in this, see, it's bigger than these. So see, I would like to have some of this size too. Couple Victoria's Secret perfumes. My husband gave me that big set at Christmas. I have a couple of perfume samples from Birchbox. And I have that little Juicy Couture one who I'm gonna give that to my friend's daughter. And then I have an OGON hair serum because I like the Chi hair serum, but I'm not going to carry that big Chi thing with me. So I thought perfect time to use this. Now I hope I'll like it because it's going with me and I have no options. Okay, but another good use for a Ziploc bag. Now I'm not worried about doing everything separately because I'm going to be, all the stuff's going to be in the cabin with me so it's not going to get super pressurized like it would if it was in the bottom of the plane. I splurged and bought a small toothpaste. I can't stand usually to do this. And my husband usually fits a large one, kind of that we've used like halfway in his um, dot kit, but um, he's not going with me. So I went ahead and splurged 99 cents and got that. Now, what else did I get? I splurged again, cause it was on sale, the flat EOS hand lotion. I think I'm gonna like that. And then that will be great in my purse if I don't use it all on my trip. Well, actually it's going in my purse, okay. Another product that I told you I was gonna report back on um, is the uh, Under Eye Roller. Now the brand is, the brand most people buy. It's really famous, can't think of it. Garnier, I think, Garnier. They have one that a lot of people have mentioned and I found it and I picked up the wrong one. So this brand is Equate, which I think is Walmart. I must've been in Walmart. And um, it was only like, I think when I looked at my receipt later, it was like $2 cheaper. It's the under eye roller for dark circles and puffiness. Don't look at me now because I haven't put it on, but this stuff works. I really think it works. In fact, when I get back home, I'm gonna buy a second one and just have one in my purse and then have one in my makeup bag because I love this stuff. Between this and this and my highlight, I'm, I'm really, I'm turning back the clock. Can't you say I'm kidding, but anyway. Okay, 
Now, I splurged again and I bought the little tiny deodorant. Well, when I got home and compared it to my deodorant, it didn't save much space. But look what I thought. Take this giant top off. And you know this plasticky thing that comes on the deodorant? Well, if you, when you roll it up, it comes off. But why not just keep it and let this be my lid? And then I can just roll it back down. And this lid stays pretty secure. And I'm saving quite a lot of space, I think. Okay, so I'm really desperate for space, so I'm doing all those things. Now, the last thing I got on my for my trip, well, no, I'm not even using this on my trip. I'm in, here's another, you know, um, under undercover reporter that I'm going to be. I don't know why I said undercover. This is vitamin E oil that I just bought at Target, I think. I just read a whole thing that this stuff will absolutely condition and help your lashes stay longer and fuller. Um, and I'm going to try it before I try. Um, I had tried the Ardell Brow and Growth Eyelash, but I kind of told you the problem with that one was the delivery system. It doesn't come out well. It, I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it. I think it worked, but it, I didn't like the, the container and everything that it was in. Then I was going to try the Rapid Lash. It is quite expensive, so I just Googled it on YouTube, and there was a girl that really talked about the vitamin E. Quite a few people talked about the vitamin E oil that you can just put it on the roots of your lashes. So I'm going to try this. It takes six to eight weeks. I will let you know if that's a keeper, but I'm not taking it on my trip. Uh, no, don't care about it that much. And then I ran by Lush this morning, and I'm staying with my sister-in-law and my friend, as I told you. So I went by and got them each a um, comforter bubble bar. I hope they're not watching. I don't think they have time to watch, but... And I put it, they put it in the paper bag. I put it in the plastic bag. And then I put this little black and white ribbon I had around it because it matched. So I'm taking that to them as a little, you know, hostess gift or whatever. And here's my final thing for my trip that I am so excited about. I wanted to have, now this isn't going to work. I'm seeing it. Well, it might. I'm going to take a food with me because I, I will be tempted to get a donut because I'm going at 6 a.m. I want to get a donut or get some giant muffin, which a muffin is really just a piece of cake for breakfast, really, if you think about it. Um, and I'm trying to lose weight from my giant, law, my gain from California. So I thought I'm going to take my own healthy breakfast with me. So I've got a little Ziploc of grapes that I'm going to put in the freezer, and then they'll thaw out you know, in a couple of hours. Now, what I was going to do and show you is I was going to put it in my bento box that my sister-in-law got me in Japan, but, and it's got this extra piece that goes in, and then it's this whole big, it's so adorable. It's this cute thing that the Japanese people do, but it's too much. I don't think my stuff's going to fit. But see, you get all these little containers. But anyway, long story, I'm going to have this in my bag. I'm going to have a couple, I splurged and got a cup, got this. I love this stuff, but it's quite expensive. But it's like $50, 50, 50 calories um, for a little square. And it's, yeah, a triangle. And it's very, very filling. So I'm going to put a couple triangles in. So I'll have my grapes, my triangles of Swiss cheese. I will have my sun chips that I stole out of my daughter's lunch kit stash. Excuse me, lunch sack. She doesn't carry a lunch kit. She's a senior. And so that's a really good kind of breakfast, lunch, brunch. Sun chips, cheese, grapes. And then for my dessert, I have these individually wrapped cookies. Now, this is the airline cookies that people used to always serve, but I haven't, had, I haven't seen them on a plane in a long time. You know how cheap they're all getting. But they sell these at Walmart. Individual, there's... There's two in a pack, so I have a couple packs of these just in case I get hungry, and then I brought two extras for my for my trip home. So I'm all set for my little plane ride. I've got my crossword puzzle book and my novel that I'm still reading, that beach novel, very, very good. 
and I'm just all set so I just wanted to show you all these little travel ideas and we'll see how they work out and you may have all seen people do this and sorry if I'm just like way behind the bandwagon I usually am but uh, we'll see how it all works so I will blog you from Austin back on the iPad sorry see ya